Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with beef borscht. That's right, this spectacularly colored soup is nothing more than a simple beef and beet broth. It's ultra simple to make and shockingly delicious. And I don't even really like beets, and I love the soup. So here is how you make it. So I had one piece of beef shank. You can totally skip the beginning of this video and just use a nice quality all natural beef broth or something like that. But if you do wanna make your own beefy base, go ahead and brown the shank in a little bit of vegetable oil until very well browned. I mean, if you're gonna brown it, do it right. All right, I'm gonna use high heat there to brown it. You don't have to season it. We'll salt the broth at the end. All right, we're gonna cover that with cold water. We're gonna add some carrots, some celery, some onions. Kind of your basic soup at mirepoix. I'm gonna to toss in a bay leaf. We're gonna bring that up to a simmer. And of course, as it comes up to a simmer, we will do the old traditional skim the foam trick. And of course, when it starts to boil, you wanna back it down just so you have a nice, gentle simmer. All right, this is one of the soups you really do wanna have a clear stock. And the secret to a clear stock, as I've learned you before, is a nice, gentle simmer. So anyway, I simmered mine for about four or five hours until the meat just was falling off the bone. And at that point, I'm going to take the shank right out of there. It's given up all its flavor, okay? If you want to break up the meat and put it back in, knock yourself out. But if you did this right, that meat should be completely, completely flavorless. All right, if there's any flavor left in it, it didn't cook long enough. Let it go. So that's just personal preference. Leave the meat in, take it out. It really doesn't matter. All the flavor should be in there. All right, once your stock is done, you're going to take some fresh beets. The amounts are not critical here. And I'm just going to cut them in slices, turn the slices over and cut them that way into like sticks. They're going to kind of break up in the soup anyway. Some people like to grate these like on a cheese grater. That works. You can dice them, of course. You are the boss of your beet shapes. So do it how you want. And you can wear plastic gloves if you want, but I actually enjoy beet stained fingers. Now I transferred my beef broth into a smaller pot here, just so it's easier to film. So do not be alarmed. You could just use the same soup pot you started with. We're going to go ahead and dump in the beets. And I'm also gonna add about a cup or so of chopped cabbage. That really works well with the earthy sweetness of the beets. Cooked cabbage actually gets nice and sweet, just like onions. So put it in, I don't care if you don't like it. And we're just gonna simmer that until the beets and the cabbage are completely tender and sweet. At that point, it would be pretty much ready to eat. Although there is one important addition here. Before we do the final seasoning, you gotta give it some vinegar. So we're gonna lower the heat down to as low as it goes. So I like to use plain white vinegar, but you could use anything really in this. A lot of people like apple cider vinegar. That's nice. And then for final seasoning, let's keep it simple. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Give it a couple tastes. All right. Does it need another splash of vinegar? Maybe another shot of pepper? I can't confirm or deny I snuck some cayenne in at the end. All right. So once your beets and cabbage are completely tender and sweet and awesome, and you season with some vinegar, salt and pepper, etc., you're ready to serve it up in a nice bowl. My grandmother always served it in a very shallow bowl, but you can serve it in whatever you want. Always with a dollop of sour cream. Some fresh dill would be amazing on this. Chives would also work perfectly. So it looks really cool like that. And if you're taking pictures, take a lot then, because as soon as you start to stir in that sour cream, it turns pink, which doesn't look quite as impressive. And yes, the bowls have changed because my wife's bowl looked better. So I switched and there you go. Let me try some. And that was incredibly delicious. Like I said, that earthy sweetness from the cabbage and beets, the beef broth, the tanginess from the vinegar and the sour cream, balancing the sweetness, just so perfect. So anyway, whether you make your beef broth from scratch or just use something pre-made, this is just a great cool weather soup, visually arresting and quite delicious. So I really hope you give it a try. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, Enjoy!